Hello everyone. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome and thanks for coming. I'm going to try to do this fairly quick. I have a journal that I want to share with you. I just finished it. She's a monster. <laughs> you know, my all my journals are very chunky. People are used to that. So it may not be your thing, but I hope you watch all the way through. Here is the gator mouth. Yes, she's big. She's got a very big, flexible spine. So that's why, you know, it moves, it shifts. So it's very, very big. It does help when you open it to um, fan out. I have lots of beading on the spine. You know how much I like to do that. And all the very muted tones, all the cream white, um, a little bit of tan, black, now for the cover, the cover is um, from an old book that I repurposed, just the cover, and there's a lot of text behind it with some black paint, black gesso. I've got little bits of things here, this frame that I cut out the center. I even tried to do a little bit of embossing on there. There's some, um, just some glimmer stuff on here. I didn't overdo it with the glimmer. There's pieces of applique on this and laces. Most all of my laces and appliques are from Crafty Me Shop and Esme does um, the sales. And this got this rhinestone pin here. Um, there's some fabric behind this sheer fabric and it's just got some, some French font. It's, there's a French influence in this. This book is called Debutante. So, just a piece of mu cream muslin holding it together. This picture is actually called Debutante, and I believe I got it from just a um, copyright-free digital. And I just fell in love with it. I love her dress. I love the dog, the people around her. I just, even the, be, the behind scenes there on the wall. Oh my word, I love the background. So I did a lot of um, stenciling, texture paste. Like I said, I layered it all with text and vintage text. Just to know that it's vintage there. I have this just helping me hold it up. And let me... Fold it open like this. See how it fans? See how the pages fan and lay out? I just love that. So I'm doing some soft spines for a little while anyway. So again, this is um, an Esme piece. And I just took a, a flower off another piece and put it there. So that flips up. You can see all the different text behind there. Vintage music sheet. This here is not from Esme. It is very, very old. Um, these little old s snaps I kept on there. I just fell in love with it. This is my favorite kind of laces and pieces to find the very old stuff. So I made a little loose pocket out of there. I have so a lot of authentic ephemera in this. Very few copies of them. And there is this lovely lady. I'm not going to flip it over in this book that I made here you're gonna find some Easter eggs I guess you could call it just little hidden things that I wanted the person who got this to go through it and go oh look at there there's a little note or a little little saying or something in there I just think that's fun and I did it for fun okay this is a digital here of the back of this cabinet card anything that I use I will go through all my Etsy purchases <laughs> and if I can find them and I will definitely list it in the description box below and this I beaded and you pull it out I loved this image as well and you pull this out and there's an image of a wedding um, a bride so I, it's very fitting for this book because she goes and makes her debut into society in France and stays with relatives and then she finds her her soulmate and gets married so that's what the theme of this book is I left some area here for for writing I better be quick here 
<laughs> and then I made this little book with the same image here of her and you can open it up and there's little pages so I thought that was fun a little pocket out of this with an original photograph aren't they just sweet I think so and here I put this on Instagram the only difference is is I I exchanged the regular um, rusted clip for the one that I have the little bling on there and I did I think I well I added a few things but here's a piece of fabric here a little piece strip here this is an Esme piece as well flip it up and there's an original photograph and an original check from 1915 and just a pretty image back there I did a lot of gesso a lot of collage um, texture paste here in this band here this is not an Esme Esme piece those of you that shop with um, Crafty Me Shop probably will be able to tell right away the different pieces. This I actually got from a lady um, in Belgium that I get a lot of my original French stuff from. And that was on it. And I just loved that. So I kept that and just altered it. Added some rice paper on there. There's a little bit of glimmer if you can catch that. And just made some pockets here. This is a very very old from the 1800s envelope inside our little things and I'm not going to show it <laughs> there's a picture here I'm now this I got it's a print a reprint but I got these from Sacred Memento she at one point it was it was probably last year that um, she sold a lot of these printed images and I just loved it and I think the colors really matched well here again an authentic piece is an authentic French letter and it's very delicate as some of the old stuff would be it's from the 1800s and I'll let whoever gets this look at it a little more thoroughly I stuck that in the little faux pocket there or the little um, half pocket and that's another envelope very old I know I usually don't show everything from 1909 this little postcard okay let's flip through these are some um, fabric lace samples from France little check stub here I added this area here I added it as a flip yep. let's see what happens there we go flips over a little clip here that I put some alcohol inks on it and this is a very vintage pearl bead added this here and here and tucked this this is an actual pocket back here I'm thinking this is when she's just starting to figure out that she needs you know wanting to get her dress I made this little flower here from scraps altered paper clip um, this is an original French receipt from 1916 and there's some really pretty coffee dyed paper here a little gesso a little um, strip from a digital little scrap this is from a vintage book that I have so this is a copy little tuck here and there's an actual tuck in this it does um, oh, not this one I think it's the other side yes but they're little doily here lots of stamping back there little picture here I made its little pocket a lot of my pockets I make gusseted but I don't think this one is and there's an original postcard from 1911 and a tag that I made I put the resist on there look at I love the shine I like the shine sometimes too and a little bookmark back tucked into this doily that's what I was trying to find before little page here I took some um, tissue paper that I had stamped and I had let dry I have some um, matte medium over this and a lot of a lot of stamping back there just so same thing with this it's a piece and it just melded right into the page made a little flip over with some Paris um, fabric made it made this pocket first from a napkin that I received as a gift there's a little little glimmer on there if you see the little bit of sparkle just little touches original photograph of these lovely ladies 
This is gusseted, so it can fit more. A little key charm here with the bead, rusted safety pin, a little clip piece here of this fabric from India. And this I saw um, came out of the, you know, one of the entry pages of an old book, and I just love the handwriting. So I kept this in there. Perhaps these were with a couple that they stayed with. I do own the original for this, and I just absolutely love it. These people. Um, as you can, if you look at old cabinet cards, both, you know, antique and vintage, especially the antique ones, they're not smiling because they have to sit for such a long period of time while the photograph is taken. And look at how they're smiling and they just seem so happy. <laughs> I just love that. Um, so antique picture for sure. I just put backed it with some avocado dyed paper. And forgive me for the shadow, you guys. I'm just, I'm updating my stuff again and just making sure I got the settings right. I really loved this piece here. This is an Esme applique. And there's a little area here that I will be tucking something in. I loved the background pictures. I used, um, this is an old German book here that I use this book page. This image is from a old magazine, not super old. And an applique here in this Paris fabric, and it is a flip, and I did some stenciling here. Again, the spine is um, fabric. It's a very thick fabric, and I did use some on the pages, on the folded pages. I did back that up and just secure it a little bit. This is an original picture, and I love their hats. These pretty ladies and a frame that I left open, a little piece of ephemera here. This is like a half pocket, this little strip of lace that I had. And a beautiful image in the background that I just gessoed and roughed it up. I love the, the grunge, shabby grunge. Got this little piece here and this loose jewelry piece. And I just love how it just dangles off there. Strip here, lots of... Um, Lots of old paper, old ledger here from the 1800s and a little area to take, put a note. But you should be able to write or journal over any of the gesso areas. I did smooth out areas so you can be able to write on it. This I made into a pocket. This is a digital and this is an original um, postcard. And this is from 1912. I just thought the colors went really well. Original photograph, a little France thing. But, but this is on the outside. On the inside, you'll get some vintage stationery and little surprises. This is from 1865. It is from the Petersons, I believe, that I have. And I backed it with some rice paper. Just a little pieced it here to make it look old. Aged it somewhat. And this is a telegram from the 1950s with the little images of these ladies. An original canceled check from 1878. I put little bits of some French vocabulary words. And if you flip it over to read the English, you'll see how it progresses throughout. Um, I put some sparkle on this little piece of um, napkin or rice paper. Little charms here and there. Altered paper clip with this wonderful image here and a um, pack of paper here, and a journal card, and another piece of ephemera here, and just made two little areas for tucks, and just did some, again, some more gesso in the back. This is an original from the 1800s. It's an autograph page. Oh, it's got a little sparkle on it, and that, that is a German scrap. I love the ones that you can find the the actual German scrap on it, 1881 here. I made it this belly band with an altered clip up there, and I just tucked that in inside. Just too pretty to fold up. I just didn't want to do that. Plus, this paper starts to get very fragile. Original postcard and a little receipt from the early 1900s. Some gesso here for writing in here as well. Got this beautiful um, washi tape here and some aging around that one. This is a gusseted pocket. This is an, an embossed piece. I love this embossing folder. I just did some, some gesso and some light pink that, you know, kitsch flamingo or whatever ink. And inside is actually lined with some old music paper. Original postcard there. 
early 1900s. Made this pocket here and did put a doily and some stamping and just added little pieces here and there and I thought it turned out really pretty. Here's a little note, a piece of scrap of, um, of paper and there's a little something in there and a journal card. little area here for writing um, just did some now these I used pieces of that citrus solve um, papers that I made and you can look at some of my past videos and you can catch those these are just bits and pieces of it I did use a, a technique to get the lace to come through here and, it, and I loved how it worked out and I did a lot of sanding a lot of gesso um, altered this altered this little envelope here and just put some shimmer stuff on it in some glass beads and just made a little sparkle a little flower here and then the back is stamped and gessoed and I made a little tab to take there's some um, vintage music paper this little card out here and just put it in here put a little rhinestone here original ledger page and I love how that flips and I made this this area because we're getting into the ball type thing when she finally gets there and there's just a piece of this really silky satiny fabric an old image that I love to use and this large piece is from Esme Whoa. <laughs> and there's a big applique and it's got the sheer right there and I just absolutely loved it for a centerpiece and that's a, um, a French postcard here and an old postcard here both originals and that opens up with some more writing spots just so in collaging same with this page too I made this little tag with a pocket and did some decoupage and and just so work there area in the back put a little bookmark up there and some lace and sari ribbon and these more collaging and this is a I loved this um, chandelier image little image here this is an original picture here and this is from a very old book that I added on there and some French book page and some beautiful um, a lace paper digital um, another one of the printed images I got from one of Patty's sales last year and there is the buying of the silverware and tea sets and all that because it's just to me she she's thinking about her wedding now that she met somebody at the ball and started seeing him so there's an original receipt from 1908 for silverware and jewelry, a little old catalog page for a tea set, a little canceled check from 1909, did some um, texture paste here and some collage work, and I better hurry, um, a napkin here in collaging, made these little uh, mulberry flowers and added my own centers and made this little, little tuck with a frame and a beautiful image of a veil and there's a, an old shop um, from just different um, it looks like veils or over things dresses even so I just took I loved this image of this veil here so I made a duplicate and I added little little tiny rhinestones on here and little tiny flowers and I just thought that this ribbon and the sheerness with the rhinestones complemented it. This is an original um, ledger page from 1876. And I reinforced it with some blank paper here, some very thin, but you could write along this. I, th I thought that would be super pretty. I added some little rhinestones in this baggie and they're just super cute. And just tuck that in there little paper clip here this is an original um, an authentic German scrap piece of two doves symbolizing love and I thought that really fit with it put some little snippet pieces here I believe from tailor-made journals she's got some little snippet pieces and I just love them made this um, wedding dress now 
to me it resembles it's not exact but it resembles the um the dress here and i would think that if she went to buy a dress it would be similar so i made this out of a flash card and i do have a video of um altering some flashcards into dresses i made this shawl and sewed right here from a um a piece of just um, i don't know what it is i guess it's just a corner piece of this and i just loved the satin and i made it swoop down here like her debutante dress and little, added a little bit of shimmer and sparkles added two different kinds of laces and fabric in the back and you can see that was a flash card and put a little shawl on here, her there this is a um, a doily piece this is from an old book page and you can see the gold in there i i hope like yep yeah, a little bit it's picking it up made this um deep pocket here and we'll just clip that back on i made one of those flower dangles again i have a video for it i'm not the original um, person but I did put the inspiration video in my video and put this little bow charm here at the top and beaded this and dangled that off the side this is one of my favorite spreads in the book I love the the tones of pink and a little bit of yellow there um, added just decoupage little pieces even from those papers that I made added some journal cards here and of course i'll put the digitals where i got these from in the description box this is um very beautiful uh, lace i i just absolutely loved it cut out this little flower and just tucked it down and made it into this shape and i made this tag and i backed it with fabric added some shimmer to it this little applique here it's pink and it's just beautiful and i just had that tuck in there and this flips open for some writing. You can take this out here. And then here is a, a fabric flip. Another one, this is some Paris um, fabric area here. And here is applique piece. I loved how this turned out. This to me is the beginning of her wedding and her shower and all of that. And here's some more collaging, some more texture paste. And this is one of those pictures I put up on on Instagram, and I'll put the link in the description box and where to where else to find me when I put pictures up and stuff. This is of an actual wedding, and I just loved loved it. And you get another one. I I always put a small bag of little extras, and you will get another one in the series of this wedding. And I just thought that is so just precious. So, made this pocket, added a lot of glass beading and some sparkle on there. And little rhinestone brads here, some sari ribbon, lots of, lots of collage in the back. This side, I just thought, no, I think we're all kind of familiar with that, that image, but I absolutely love it. So, this I made a copy of because I have so many, I have a lot of these cards. It's Mrs. Ray Peterson there. And it just, it's, they're very old, but it just, you know, that her name would be Mrs. Ray Peterson. <laughs> and this is a copy of the receipt. And she wrote in here, it was 1913 when she ordered this. So she wrote in here what she, what she paid and the one, the font that she picked. And I just thought that was super, super cute there. So I did a lot of the glass beading here, a lot of gesso and stenciling and collaging. And here's a really pretty strip of trim there. Writing area here, this is an old ledger. I added some washi tape for some stability. Altered this, this um, envelope, little bits of fabric here, collage. Did some sewing on there and added this. I, I do own the original for this. And I just absolutely love it. So I hope whoever gets this loves it too. I backed it with some coffee dyed paper. And I also lined this with some more collage of some very old pieces. Oh, I got to add my charm to that. And there is the back. And then you get this canceled check from 1915. An old postcard. This is a... Um, 
stock receipt from 1886 and this as well some railroad stuff it's a um, little brittle here but it's otherwise in decent shape collaging here with gesso for some writing and i just thought those items were fun they're starting to build their life together the couple and we're gonna put that there hopefully i remember how we i did it <laughs> okay I believe it was like this. There we go. And then this flips over. You get a very old deed and the writing is just so gorgeous. It's from 1892. Very grunged up. It's just natural grunge. This flips over. It's a picture of a wedding you know i figured she has wedding pictures here and there another one of those little french vocabulary i added some i it was embossed on the back but then i added this piece and i just love how it comes through with the sheerness over here i made this open side open pocket um this is a of an old church here vintage postcard this is from a card just a very large card but I thought the image is is very very beautiful a piece of some very old German music a music she's some stamping there and I thought it went really well together area to collage an area to journal and here is I, this I salt some of my um, coffee dyed paper I do buy some already made but these i i added the salt to it just so stamping a little piece here that i put in just decoupage and little tiny there's textures in there a pocket here that this little piece goes to open it up and in the very back i added this i just altered one of those fillers for traveler's notebook and i just put little strips of some laces here this piece here is super super old and this is a digital that i made the cover from but it's all blank lots of writing you could actually take this out on a few other things if you wanted it to close more but my journals are chunky that's what they are and i just um mimicked the very front pocket area again with the bow and the pearls this piece here added this beautiful flower i just love how the dainty and pretty that looks some of that very very old that i don't have much left <laughs> um lace here and made this droopy pocket and this is an original photograph and they're just so so beautiful and they're getting more and more scarce to even find them so that is that is it this is the back and this is an actual tie and it ties on the piece that i used for the spine so that is it. You can check availability in the description box below. And I just hope whoever gets this loves it as much as I loved making it. I've got lots of more projects, lots of more, lots, of, lots more projects ahead. And you can just hit that no notification bell and be updated on any new videos that I post. That went 28 minutes. Sorry for the long video. <laughs> okay, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.